Hey guys, this is the uh, 1991 Vanagon. I was driving this a couple days ago and then the uh, radiator fan just like kicked on super high. So I drove it home, thought maybe it was just too hot, so let it run for a little bit, kept going. Uh, ended up trying to figure it out at the moment and I just pulled the 30 fuse out below the steering column and that turned off the fan and then this morning I'm going to try to figure out what the issue is. I looked on Samba, they had a lot of good recommendations on what it could be. Uh, pretty much I started with the radiator section. Come over here, here's my thermal switch. And what they were saying was, if I'm gonna plug this in, you're gonna hear the fan. Okay, and then after I unplug it, the fan's no longer running. From what they're saying, if that's what happens, then it should just be the thermal switch I need to replace. So I'm gonna try that first and see if that works. But it's kinda like you're starting from the beginning and working your way back. There's other options, there's a switch, there's two fuses, there's another wire that branches off of this, I think, that has a fuse or some type of um, receiver or something, but I'm not gonna look at that yet. I was also told if you have a high idling fan, check your um, your air conditioner. Even if you had your air conditioner removed, the switches, if the switches are on, it can activate the fan. And sometimes those have been some quick fixes. I already tried that, that wasn't the case. But just the fact that I plugged this in and it runs is telling me there's probably the, um, the thermo switch here is stuck. So anyways, I'll take that out and we'll see if that works. Okay, so now update. Here's my thermo switch sensor right here. Earlier, when I plugged this in, the radiator would fan would run at a really high speed. So I thought, let's replace this and that'll fix the issue. So in order to replace it, I drove the van down to the uh, shop to pick up another sensor. Well, I had this plugged in, but I remove, removed my fuse, and when I was driving, if I thought, oh, maybe the car's getting a little hot, I'd pop the fuse in and the fan would kick on. So I only did that once on the way down there. I picked up the thermostat, the thermo sensor, and then um, I also picked up an extra fuse because mine was getting kind of loose. So let's go around there. So before I leave the shop, I go in there and I pop out the old fuse and I put in this new one. When I put this new one in, I got a little start up from the radiator, like I knew I would because I had the, the wiring hooked into the front of the radiator. But then it stopped. Now, when I turn on my AC, the fan comes on no problem at a low temperature. The fuse is working. And I didn't need to replace the thermostat sensor, the thermo sensor. So I have an idea on what the issue was. Okay, so I'll turn on the car or the van. All right, now when I turn on my fan, you can hear the radiator. So it's working properly. Now let's go outside and look at the radiator. Run it at a nice low temp, low speed. This is hooked up. That goes off.
Okay, so my idea on what the issue was. Fan was running at high idle. I unplugged my wiring. The thermal sensor is what it was hooked up to and it stopped idling. So then I researched it on the Samba said, if that's the case, this is the issue. When I drove down to the shop to get a new one of these, I think my old one, there's a piece of plastic in here that opens up and activates the fan. I think that plastic was stuck and I think it heated up on the way down there and now it's functioning fine. So now it's working great. I still think this is the issue. I'm probably gonna replace it. This is a much better part. This is an OEM. I think the one I have in there is maybe a China piece and I was told that, you know, you, you get what you pay for. So I might have got a pretty crappy part. So I think if I replace this one, I uh, probably won't have an issue. If I don't replace it, I think that's gonna keep happening. Hopefully this helped you guys and um, see you later. Thank you.